So continuing, as I have told you that leucite is having higher temperature, pure leucite, pure anorthite will have more temperature. Then when you add leucite to anorthite or anorthite to leucite, at a eutectic point, the temperature is going to decrease like this, temperature is going to decrease here. Then again, leucite and anorthite, the mixture of leucite and anorthite, I am adding some quartz to it. So it will again decrease, it will again decrease to this point reaction point R okay so uh, okay so what will happen from P2 to R the magma will move as I have told you from P2 there are three phases leucite anorthite and liquid so degree of freedom becomes 1 so it will follow the curve it will follow the slope of the curve so to know the slope I have told you these things that this point will have you uh, this point will have higher temperature this point will have lower temperature because I am adding quartz to it again okay so ah, okay so then P2 to R then what will happen to R when the magma will reach R what will happen there will be leucite there will be anorthite there will be one more that is orthoclase plus liquid okay leucite plus anorthite plus orthoclase plus liquid again as i have told you this orthoclase is formed by two means magmatic crystallization directly from magma another method is leucite plus liquid leucite plus liquid or SI2 right leucite plus SiO2 in the liquid that is in the liquid okay that is present in the liquid itself so leucite plus liquid will give you orthoclase by taking SiO2 leucite will be converted to orthoclase feldspar thread will be converted to feldspar by adding SiO2 from the liquid okay Simultaneously, leucite is also formed. Simultaneously, anorthite is also formed. Simultaneously, orthoclase is also formed directly from magma. As well as reaction, by means of reaction of leucite and liquid, we are getting orthoclase. Again, I have told you, here there are two cases. Either liquid will finish or leucite will finish. That is determined by this line. That is determined by this line. So, for X2, I have taken X2 above this line. I have taken X2 above this orthoclase anorthite line or I have taken X2 beyond this triangle anorthite orthoclase and leucite this is a triangle I have taken X2 beyond this triangle right above this triangle so what will happen in this case what will happen what will happen if I am taking a composition here let's say this is X2 this is X1 what will happen at X1 if I am taking X1 as initial composition at point P liquid will be finished i am finding leucite plus orthoclase if i am taking x2 as initial composition what i will find leucite will be finished at point p and there will be orthoclase plus liquid there will be orthoclase plus liquid so similarly here what will happen all leucite will be finished now in this case leucite anorthite orthoclase plus liquid let's say sorry i have forgotten so now leucite anorthite orthoclase plus uh, liquid so the number of phase becomes 4 degree of freedom becomes 0 so that will become invariant that will become invariant okay until one of the phase will be ended that will stay there the magma will stay there the magma will be fixed there the temperature will be fixed there right so what will happen then leucite will be finished then leucite will be finished so then becomes anorthite plus orthoclase plus liquid okay at point r itself what happens if leucite is finished you are getting anorthite plus orthoclase plus liquid i hope all of you got that at point r either liquid will finish or leucite will finish because i have taken x2 above this triangle or above this line above this line orthoclase and anorthite similar to binary i have taken this composition here so what will happen leucite will be finished at point r at point r leucite will be finished and i am getting anorthite plus orthoclase plus liquid anorthite plus orthoclase plus liquid now phase becomes 3 
phase becomes 3, 1, 2, 3. So, degree of freedom becomes 1, 4 minus P, 3 plus 1 minus P, right? P is 3, so degree of freedom becomes 1. Then what will happen? It will again follow the slope. It will again follow the slope of the curve. So, now it is moving from R to C. Now, it will move from R to C. It will move from R to C. Reaction point to cotectic point. Reaction point to cotectic point. Then at point C, what will happen? At point C, this is again touching quads, field of quads. So, now you are getting anorthite plus orthoclase plus quads plus liquid. Anorthite, it is again uh, this C point is also between anorthite, orthoclase and quads common to three fields. So, you are getting anorthite, orthoclase, quads and liquid. Number of phases become 4, degree of freedom becomes 0. This will be invariant the magma will be stopped there or the temperature will be remain constant at that place until whole of the liquid will be finished until whole of the liquid will be finished so end point at the end point what we are finding end is anorthite plus orthoclase plus quartz anorthite plus orthoclase plus quartz that will be your final composition or that will be the end point of the crystallization process. As I have told you, in case of binary also, uh, if I am taking X2 beyond this line, final composition I am getting orthoclase plus quartz. Because it is ternary, I am getting anorthite additionally. I am getting anorthite because it is ternary. I have added one more vertex here, right? So, at the end point you are getting anorthite plus orthoclase plus quartz okay so this is determined by this line if you are taking here you will get leucite plus uh, orthoclase plus anorthite if you are taking here you will find anorthite plus orthoclase plus quartz okay now let's talk about one more point here let's talk about one more point here okay x3 Okay, let's talk about so I am erasing x1 and x2 so that you are not getting confused you will not get confused okay This is your reaction point and this is the triangle. Okay. Now let's say I am taking the initial composition here. I am taking the initial composition here. X3. Okay. So, what will happen at X3? So, I hope all of you getting this. If I will take X3 here, what will happen at X3? I have told you that is in the field of leucite. So, we are getting leucite plus liquid. Leucite plus liquid. Later, I have taken X2 here. Later, I have taken X2 here. When I have joined, sorry, previously. Previously, I have taken X2 here. So, I have joined X2 and leucite that touches this curve. That touches this curve, which is in between leucite plus anorthite okay now let's say i am taking this x3 
and if I join this x3, if I join this x3, it will touch the reaction curve. Okay, let's say this x3 that will touch the reaction curve directly. It is not touching. You can see I have told you at x3 what will happen? Leucide plus liquid. So number of phase becomes number of phase becomes two. Number of phase becomes two. Degree of freedom becomes two. So two. Uh, to know in which direction magma will move we have to join leucite and that initial composition point so what happens x3 will touch the reaction curve directly this is the reaction curve i have told you this is the reaction curve this is the eutectic curve and this is the reaction curve this is the extension of this peritectic point you can see right so at from x3 it will move towards this reaction curve let's say this point i am giving uh, p3 okay let's say that point is this point is p3 okay so x3 to p3 you will find leucite plus liquid at point p3 what will happen you are getting leucite plus p3 is present on the boundary which is common between orthoclase plus liquid and leucite plus liquid this is the boundary between orthoclase field and leucite field right this is the field of leucite this is the field of orthoclase so p3 is present in the boundary between leucite and orthoclase so we'll get leucite plus orthoclase plus liquid and again as i have told you that is the extension of this peritectic point or you can say that is the reaction core Okay, so you are getting orthoclase means this orthoclase is forming in two ways. One is directly from magma, another one is directly from, uh, sorry, another one is leucite plus liquid silica. Leucite plus silica will, going, uh, will give you orthoclase and directly from magma also orthoclase is formed at point P3. So from P3 to R, same process will take place. Now, what will happen? Number of phase becomes 3. Number of phase becomes 3. Degree of freedom becomes 1. Degree of freedom becomes 1. So it is univariant. So it will follow the curve. It will move towards reaction point R. Okay. So at R, what will happen? From P3 to R, leucite, orthoclase plus liquid. Rest of the things are same. Okay, I am just uh, giving you this example for some reason. You are, you are going to find that reason after some time. So now you can see from P3 to R, it will give leucite plus orthoclase plus liquid. At reaction point, what will happen? It will give leucite plus orthoclase plus anastite because reaction point is the common point between leucite orthoclase and anastite so anastite is also forming there from liquid it is also forming there from liquid so now orthoclase again formed by two means i have told you again so number of phase becomes four degree of freedom becomes zero so it is invariant so it is invariant then magma stops there then as I have taken X3 beyond this triangle, I have taken X3 beyond this triangle or above this line, above this orthoclase and anorthite line, I have taken this initial composition X3. So what will happen? Leucite is going to finish. Leucite is going to finish. So then it will move from R to C. Then it will move from R to C. From R you will get orthoclase plus anorthite plus liquid orthoclase plus anorthite plus liquid degree of uh, sorry phase becomes 3 degree of freedom becomes 1 phase becomes 3 degree of freedom becomes 1 so it will move towards c at point c what will happen you will get orthoclase plus anorthite plus quartz because c is common between orthoclase anorthite and quartz so we are getting an orthoclase anorthite plus quartz plus liquid so phase becomes 4 degree of freedom becomes 0 this is the invariant point here what will happen all liquid will finish and you are finding orthoclase plus anorthite plus quartz as final composition you are getting final composition orthoclase plus anorthite plus
coils okay because at point c all liquid will be finished because that is the cotectic <coughs> okay now let's compare x3 with another point x4 here okay i will take another point x4 here okay so same thing at x4 what will happen same thing is going to form right So at X4 same thing will going to will be formed that is leucite plus liquid because that is in the field of leucite itself. So we are finding leucite plus liquid. So number of phase become 2, degree of freedom become 2. So you have to join X4, you have to join X4 with the leucite, with the vertex of the field, vertex of the triangle in that field right so we have joined leucite plus x4 then it will touch the reaction curve. then it will touch the reaction curve here then it will touch the reaction curve here let's say it is p4 it is p4 so at p4 what will happen leucite plus orthoclase plus liquid now just uh, focus here as I have told you at X4 I have taken initial composition then I joined leucite then I joined a line with leucite and this X4 initial composition it will touch at a point P4 which is on this reaction curve on this reaction curve or peritectic curve where you are finding orthoclase and again this orthoclase will form by two means directly from magma and secondly from leucite plus liquid where it will take SiO2 and form orthoclase where it will intake SiO2 and form orthoclase okay so at V4 you are getting number of phases 3 number of phases are 3 degree of freedom becomes 1 so now it will follow the curve it will move towards reaction point now it will move towards reaction point but now the point is just focus here what is the difference between this p3 and p4 what is the difference between x3 and x4 i told you at x3 it is here it will touch the p3 point then it will move to reaction point okay you can see the gap between p3 and r that is very small but you can see from p4 to r the the what uh, this path is but so long this path is this path is longer than p3 to r from p3 to r this path is shorter but from p4 to r the path is longer now what will happen let's say let's say for example let's say moving from p4 to let's say this is a point named as p5 okay moving from p4 to p5 at point p5 what will happen all the leucite will be finished all the leucite will be finished okay let's say at point p5 what happens because p4 to p5 we are moving p4 to p5 we are moving and the same thing will happen the same thing is going on leucite plus orthoclase plus liquid liquid okay orthoclase is formed from magma as well as leucite is getting reacted with liquid to give rise to orthoclase leucite is reacting with the silica present in the liquid to give rise to orthoclase if leucite is reacting with the liquid okay so what will happen let's say before reaction point at any point p5 variable this p5 is variable i am taking just example right let's say while moving from p4 to reaction point r while moving from p4 to point r in middle uh, sorry in this 
gap in this big gap between P4 to R. Let's say at somewhere at point P, somewhere at point P5, somewhere at point P5, what will happen? This leave site will be finished. Let's say while moving from P4 to R because in this reaction curve, what, what is going on in this reaction curve? Leucite is forming, orthoclase is forming and leucite is getting converted to orthoclase. So let's say, let's imagine this thing that before reaction point R, before reaction point R, what will happen? P4, uh, sorry, before reaction point R is reached, all the leucite will be ended in the system. All the leucite will be finished from the system. Then the remaining phases are if leucite will be finished, remaining phases are, let's say at P5, P5 what will happen? You are getting orthoclase plus liquid. You are getting orthoclase plus liquid. Why? Because all the leucite is finished. All the leucite that is forming, all the leucite is, uh, that is forming from the magma that is directly getting converted to orthoclase. Okay, all the leucide that is precipitating from the magma or uh, sorry crystallizing from the magma that is getting converted to orthoclase. So, you are no longer finding three phases because leucide is not forming. When it start crystallizing means it is getting converted to orthoclase. All the leucide is finished and the new leucide that is getting formed that is directly converted to your orthoclase. Okay, I have told you leucide is formed from X4 to P4. Then again P4 to R also it will form. It will form. Leucite will form. As well as orthoclase will also form directly from magma. As well as the leucite is getting converted to orthoclase by reacting with the silica. Okay. So what will happen? At certain point of time, let's say P5, let's say P5 is a point where you are getting only orthoclase plus liquid because whole of the leucite is getting converted to orthoclase. Then at that point, no need to move this magma. No, there is no need that this magma will move from P5 to R. Because now we have phases, number of phases, 2. Degree of freedom will become, degree of freedom will become 2. Right? So number of phases, 2. So degree of freedom will become 2. Now this will not move to R, this will directly move to what? Cotectic. This will directly move to cotectic. I have all of you getting that? Okay. I will join this line. I will join this line. Okay. Now at P5, what will happen? It will directly jump to this part. Okay, if I am joining leucite and P5 like this, so it will directly move to either the cotectic or to quas field or this reaction field that also matters. Okay, either it can move to this and join here, P5 to P6 can be here, P6 can be here, or P6 can be here or it will directly move to cotectic okay either it will move to this point that dependent upon this line okay you have to join leucite plus p5 you have to join leucite plus p5 then that will touch either here or here in this point okay so there you will find what let's say p5 is getting uh, is moving to P6. Let's say I have joined here. I have joined here. Right. This is P6. Okay. I have joined leucite plus P5. It is forming here. I have joined. Because degree of freedom becomes 2. What to do? You have to join leucite and P5. If I will join leucite and P5, that will touch here at P6. So, at P6 what will happen? From P5, it will directly move to P6. Then you are getting orthoclase plus quartz plus liquid. Then you are getting orthoclase plus quartz plus liquid. Okay. 
I have all of you understood. I am repeating it again. I, am, I have taken initial composition at x4. I have taken initial composition at x4 because it is in the leucite field. The fast form mineral will be leucite plus liquid. Then it will go towards p4. I have joined that point to leucite because degree of freedom becomes two. When degree of freedom becomes two, you have to join with the vertex. Okay. So p4 will be the next point. So at P4, what will happen? Leucite plus orthoclase plus liquid. Orthoclase is formed from magma and the action between leucite and liquid. Let's say from P4 to moving towards R, the magma is moving from P4 to R. At certain point P5, what will happen? All the leucite is finished. All the leucite will be finished. Then what will happen? From P5, it will directly jump to the next field. It will directly jump to next field. If leucite will be over, you are getting orthoclase plus liquid. So the phase becomes 2, degree of freedom becomes 2. So what will happen? Degree of freedom becomes 2 means you have to join with the vertex. When you will join with the vertex, it will touch the, let's say P6 here. Either it can, it can touch this field or it can touch this curve or it can touch cotectic. Okay, so at P6, what we are going to found? Orthoclase plus quartz plus liquid. Orthoclase plus quartz plus liquid. Okay, then it will move to, now phase becomes 3. Now phase becomes 3. Orthoclase plus quartz plus liquid 3. So degree of freedom becomes 1. So it will follow the curve. Then from P6 to it will move to C. It will move to C. At C point, you are getting orthoclase plus quads plus anorthite. From P62, it will move towards C. It will move towards C. So at C, what you will find? Orthoclase plus quads plus anorthite. So you are getting, uh, sorry, plus liquid. Okay. Orthoclase plus quads plus anorthite plus liquid. Then, degree of freedom, uh, sorry, phase becomes 4, degree of freedom becomes 0. Phase becomes 4, degree of freedom becomes 0. Then what will happen? All liquid will be finished. End point will be what? Orthoclase plus quads plus anorthite. Because it is present above this line, X4 is present above this line. At the end point, you are going to find orthoclase plus quads plus anorthite. No leucite will be there. Okay, at the end. But I have taken four composition X1, X1 I have taken uh, I think here uh, or X2 is somewhat here, X3, X4. I have taken four points or again let's say I, have, I am taking one more composition here. If I take one more composition here, what will be the end point? Uh, sorry, what will be the first mineral to crystallize? Anorthite because it is in the field of anorthite it is in the field of anorthite so if i am taking initial composition here that will be anorthite plus liquid then what will happen i have to join these two points then it will move to this point at this point what will form anorthite plus leucite because it is the common boundary between leucite and anorthite then it will move towards reaction point r then at reaction point again same thing will happen leucite plus anorthite plus orthoclase plus liquid then leucite is getting converted to orthoclase and orthoclase is directly forming from the magma leucite is forming from the magma anorthite is also forming from the magma number of phases become 4 here degree of freedom becomes 0 that will become invariant and as I have taken initial composition here as I have taken initial composition here which is within this triangle which is within this triangle below this line below this line or within this triangle if I am taking this composition at reaction point what will happen I have told you if I am taking any composition within this triangle at point R what will happen your oh, liquid will be finished liquid will be finished you are getting leucite plus orthoclase plus anorthite Okay, because I have taken initial composition within this triangle, I will find leucite plus anorthite plus orthoclase. If I will take any composition here, then I have to join that, then it will move towards, let's say I am taking any, any composition here, 
then uh, that is again in the field of anorthite so first mineral will be anorthite then phase becomes 2 then I have to join that it will move and it will touch here then 